Hey guys, Rich Page, R. Jemathan, Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Wanted to take just a couple minutes today to talk a little bit about cutting your rafters. Uh, I've got a video on there showing cutting some bird mounts. What I want to point out in this video is how important it is to get the bird mouth right before you cut your rafter to length. So what you're going to find is as good as you are or as inexperienced as you are, it takes some time to get the rafter bird mouth just right. And in doing so, let me grab the camera and show you a couple things. In doing so, you may end up making some adjustments down in this area here, which inevitably is going to cause this area to change a little bit, which is in fact the overall, it's going to affect the overall length of the rafter. So when you're doing rafters specifically, if you've got the bird mouth, it takes a bunch of time. You're going to be whittling on this to get them just right. And what you want to make sure is, is that you don't want to cut these to length until you get this piece done here on the bird mouth. So once you get your bird mouth done, you know you've got it flat, level, parallel, plumb and true. You've got your pitch angle matched up perfectly. That's when it's time to cut the length. So after you get this done, now it's time to come down here. If you're working off a drawing like me, you're going to look at your drawing and you're going to say, okay, there's my drawing. And then I'm going to come down here. Then I'm going to come down and cut to length. So you can see right now I'm not cut to length. And what I want to make sure is I'm leaving plenty of stock on this uh, eight by eight for the rafter to make sure that I've, I can take out the material on the bird mouth. If there's any adjustments to be made, I can make the adjustments on the bird mouth, square it up, plumb it up, true it up, get the right angle, and then cut your top cut, which is a straight cut, and you're going to get the right length every time. If you cut the length and you have some issues down here where you ha you may have to square it up, take a tiny bit more material, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to have a short rafter or you're going to have a bird mouth that doesn't fit as perfectly as you'd like. So take the time, get the bird mouth done perfectly, and then go up to your end and cut your, cut your top cut and when you do the top cut, you'll be cutting to length. Don't cut to length in advance. Do the bottom end first, get it right, work on it, whittle it, do what you have to do. Once you get that done, now you can feel confident when you go up to make your top cut that th these are going to be just right. So over here on this side, I've got a couple of them that are, you know, the top cuts are done now. And you'll see where I move my mark a little bit on this one. And I've can I get in there and focus? So I moved my mark a little bit because by the time I got down whittling and I had made an initial mark on the rafter, I didn't cut and then I had to come back and make an adjustment. So that's something that you want to think about is getting the bird mouth done, get it done right, and then go up and cut to length. All right, hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Give me some feedback. Thanks, guys.